A breathalyzer could do more than tell if someone is drunk. It may soon predict and diagnose a wide range of health problems. They include obesity, heart failure, and some kinds of cancer. Dr. Holly Phillips is with us. Good morning. Good morning, Charlie and Nora. You know, this is very exciting because it's actually breath tests are now being called the new frontier of medicine. You know, we're used to going to the doctor and doing blood tests and urine tests to diagnose disease. Well, it turns out our breath is as unique as a fingerprint, and breath tests are really quick and inexpensive to do. So if you have bad breath, does that mean <laughs> that you're sick or it's something else? No, you know what, it's not so much how your breath smells, but it has to do with gases in your breath. Like there was a study um, out of Cedar sinai just last week showing that certain gases, hydrogen and methane in the breath, can predict obesity. People with more of the gases are more likely to be obese than people who are And these aren't. are more accurate determinants than other ways of testing? Uh, they're just as accurate as some other ways of testing. And what's really important is that they're very quick and very inexpensive yeah. to do. There's also a study out of Cleveland Clinic which was looking at heart failure. Now this could be very impactful. Uh, it found that a breath test that takes just 30 seconds to do can diagnose heart failure with 100% accuracy. That is incredible. Incredible to me, amazing. yeah, it, that, about heart disease and also cancer too. This could be used for cancer. Cancer as well. 90% uh, accuracy using a breath test what, in what distinguishing kind of, yeah. stomach cancer from other stomach illnesses and also in distinguishing early cancer from late. Mm -hmm. And again, this is because of the types of gases that are being emitted. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's it's really very an, a very interesting way of looking at it. It's very soon you might go to the doctor and they'll say, breathe into this machine. Yeah. Why are they just coming to this knowledge now? Well, you know what, we've known quite a bit about this before, in particular with cancers, but now we're able to use it, to utilize it very efficiently, and hopefully get it into the public health setting. Wow, really important yeah. information and interesting, very Dr. Holly Phillips, and it could be cost-saving as well.